Good day, everybody. Today we'll be uh, explaining the content optimizer tool. We will now sign in. For the sake of this example, we'll be using the content marketing strategy keyword. And I click search. You can use the content optimizer tool in two ways. The first way is using the free search method. For example, I want to uh, analyze more than one uh, article right here. I'll, do, I'll click on that fetch, fetch link uh, icon and then click on fetch text. Uh, of course, you can analyze a limitless number of keywords and the tool will fetch the, the article we chose. The tool will now fetch the article's text and you can analyze uh, a limitless number of uh, articles per uh, keyword. Now, if I, if I want to analyze this article, I'm going to click on search. As you can see, uh, the, this article has a score of 76. And as you can see here, uh, the recommendation is for your article score is to be between 55 and 75. And this is one of the most uh, precise factors in like Rank tool. This means that when your score, when your article score is between 55 and 75, the AI is able to promote and advance your article to the top uh, search results. And this, of course, uh, makes it easier for you to rank. The score here is 76, so it's over-optimized. The first icon, as you can see, is the crowns icon. And your article will have uh, these uh, words. There are also several tabs here, as you can see. This one is for the words that weren't mentioned in the article. 59 words uh, with a percentage of 23%. Low refers to the words that were mentioned, but less than you should have to mention them more in your article. As for the good tab, uh, this refers to the keywords that were mentioned uh, optimally uh, within the article. As for the overuse tab, this means that the words have been used more than you should have. And now if you use uh, the filter option, the tool will uh, order the words for you. And as you can see, the average uh, suggested words are uh, about 160. This is the average of the words that are suggested. Sometimes it reaches up to 180, 190 or less than that. This also depends on the importance of words that are mentioned within the article. As you can see here, he has used the word content 112 times and we can highlight it this way. As you can see, the tool suggests mentioning this word uh, 182 times. And right here, you see the percentage. He has used it 3.4%, uh, 3.6%, where he should have uh, used it uh, with a ratio of 5.8%. Now, the, this word score within the article is 62. Of course, this is the order of the words that are used, and uh, they are ordered according to importance. Using this icon here, you can copy the word if you want to use it. This is a live editor and you can edit like easily and smoothly. As you can see, I'm going to add the word content again. And you'll see uh, this increment, the word count 113. And as you can see, the relevancy score up here, up here is depends on the own, on, on all the, uh, the words uh, underneath. And each word, has, uh, each word has its own score. Of course, the first 10 words are the most important. And if you commit yourself to uh, to keeping these within the good tab, you'll be you'll have an advantage, and you'll make uh, you'll make it easier for the AI to understand your article. I'm gonna copy it more right here just to show you uh, for the sake of this example, and you'll feel, you'll see this reflected uh, within the uh, score of the word. This is also true for the rest of the words right here and all the words within the article itself. The second tab is the keywords tag, and this is uh, for more than one word. And using this one, you'll be able to, to know whether uh, this combination or that one is, is, is better. And you'll understand how to order the words uh, correctly. 
uh, this tool makes it easier for you to order the words within the article as well as the terms so that you can target the words with, uh, in Google uh, more precisely. Right here, as you can see, is the content marketing. It's been mentioned 20 times, whereas we should have written it 116 times. You may think this is a high number, but these are ratios and not, not just a number and varies according uh, to your article. As for marketing strategy, it's been mentioned four times where we should have mentioned it 66 times. And using this icon, we're going to highlight it and see it within the article. And as you can see, for content strategy, he has mentioned it uh, correctly with, uh, and well within the uh, good ratios. So this is 11 out of 13, which is a good result. There are long tail, long -tail uh, keywords here, which they could have used within their article. And these words may be taken as suggestions that can be used and these give you uh, great concepts and ideas that you can use when writing your uh, article these are 83 tags as you can see here which you can use within your article to optimize it. But the score uh, mainly depends on the crowns. This icon here is the questions, and it will provide the most four important questions, as you can see. And you can strengthen your article by answering these questions uh, within the article itself. Uh, this keeps the visitor in your site for more time, and this will make them come back as, as uh, they can find the answers for the questions that they may have. This icon is for the categories, and this is dedicated to the AI. And if we click on Analyze here, you'll see that the AI has been able to uh, recognize and understand the article. And it identified that uh, the article is for social networks with a percentage of 98%. The second category, as you can see, is advertising and marketing with a ratio of 97. Of course, it is better for us to have a uh, the adv advertising and marketing on top for this case of course but the uh, social networks is also related to content uh, marketing so they are a bit related uh, to each other so uh, that is acceptable in this case as you can see here the marketing category is mentioned and uh, this is a great success for the article so the ai has been able to understand uh, under which category this article falls right here is the uh, ranking predictor icon uh, this is also a tool dedicated to the ai and it's one of the most reliable tools in uh, in GwynRank. as you can see although it's a bit over optimized at 77 as a score it should have been between uh, 55 and 75 the ai was able to understand that you are targeting content strategy which is part of the uh, long tail keyword content marketing strategy The tool also predicts that you can rank for this uh, keyword right here and lead the search results. But the success part here is that uh, the author made, uh, made it possible for the AI to, to understand that he is targeting content strategy, which is part of his keyword. Of course, with more commitment, to the editor and the uh, keyword ratios here, the ranking predictor would have been able to uh, to predict that uh, the AI may understand this uh, long tail keyword. However, it was as you can see, it was able to understand that part of the keyword that the author is targeting. For this reason, your commitment percentages and ratios here of the crowns, as well as the number of mentioned keywords and uh, ratios, will give you an advantage so that the AI will understand the, uh, that you are targeting the whole uh, keyword you're writing about, and not only part of it. This here is the uh, concepts icon, but we don't have any data on it for this example or for this article. And it's the same case for the entities icon, as we don't have any data for the uh, in the case of this article. This concludes the first me method of using the content optimizer to uh, enhance your results. I'm gonna start now to explain the second method of using the content optimizer tool. 
you can create a project and keep your articles within the tool. So if you're gonna create an article from scratch, the tool will allow you to create a project. And after creating a folder or a project, you'll be able to create an article uh, from scratch. And I'm gonna explain all these tips uh, right now. I'm gonna uh, click projects uh, right here. and create a new project. And for the sake of this example, I'm gonna use content marketing as a name. And then, my, then I'm gonna click create. I'm gonna pick co uh, content marketing and uh, create a new article. I'm gonna name it right now. And this field is uh, is optional. It's for the URL, and you can add it after. Uh, so, uh, publishing it and you can edit it and modify it uh, on the tool and as I mentioned this is uh, optional in this field we're gonna add the targeted keyword uh, these are keywords that have been uh, previously searched and if you don't uh, search for these keywords you won't be able to uh, create uh, an article can use the keyword analyzer tool to search for it first and then go back and after you click on the keyword that you want to target and if you may have made a mistake you can just click x and pick the right one this allows you to pick uh, of course between public private or for full access uh, accounts private is for the basic basic accounts and they can be recognized using the full access and now after i click on create you're gonna see uh, this uh, screen and as uh, you can see we have created the article and after we click on it you'll have this screen and as you can see this is the uh, editor tool again and you can add your uh, words right here and for example we can add content and if you add marketing it's gonna reflect uh, as you can see here of course it keeps uh, updating the score as you can as you write and the more you write and, uh, and mention the words that are suggested the score will go up and this allows you have uh, writers working with you the tool allows you to establish accounts for them and these secondary accounts can be used for these writers that work with you and they can write uh, using uh, the green rank tool uh, freely without any charge but you can have to uh, establish the, the the keywords and the articles for them as you can see here there's a new toggle called the writing mode and this makes it easier for you if you don't want to keep the data within the article and if you toggle it the article will be registered and used And this is the save icon as you can see and if you edit it for example this way you'll see that the save icon updates again and if you click analyze uh, they're gonna be both uh, automatically uh, clicked as we have tried using the uh, uh, text editor tool and if you open the keyword tags here you can see that you have mentioned content marketing strategy of course and these are other uh, tags that uh, and combinations that you can rely on uh, this concludes the uh, keyword analyzer tool explanation i hope this has been useful for you